everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. It's our second new release of the week. We had Select Baseball on Wednesday, and today we have Stadium Club for 2021. Uh, there's two autographs in every hobby box, which is pretty nice, uh, and it's a guarantee as well. Unlike the hobby boxes of flagship tops where you, dig, you get one hit, uh, typically it's going to be a relic, at least... Uh, Maybe three out of every four times. But there's 16 packs in here. Eight cards per pack. The price point on these isn't that bad, guys. Um, I think most sites have them for about $130 a piece on Blowout or Steel City or Dave and Adams, which after tax and shipping, you're probably $140, $145, which is right about what the Series 2 hobby boxes were when they first came out. And you get two autographs. And in addition to that, the photography in this set is just kind of uh, next level type stuff. Also... It's the 30th anniversary of Stadium Club. You might remember way back in the day, if you were collecting, 1991 Stadium Club was all the rage. Everybody wanted to get their hands on some of that. Some of us could, some of us couldn't. I could never really afford packs of that, so I mostly just stuck to like 91 Donruss and 91 Tops. But we're going to open these up right now and see what we can find, give you a look at the photography, see what the autographs are, and then we'll be ripping, I think, four or five cases of this tonight. Um, so if you'd like to see a whole lot more of this product and a lot more autographs, tune in tonight. We'll get started shortly after 8 p.m. Eastern time and be live for the rest of the evening. Now, these boxes are going to Casey and John. They're Patreon members. If you'd like to purchase a box that ripped on camera, you can check us out on Patreon. It's $3 per month to have access to my Patreon site and sign up for these breaks. And if you sign up for a higher tier, you get packs and or boxes sent to you each and every month. Check it out. It's down in the description. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Start with Casey right here. By the way, you can see Christian Yelich gets the cover of the box. Kind of an interesting choice. Would have been a good choice, uh, I don't know, like uh, two years ago maybe, but I don't know if I think uh, he's the, the biggest name around, but still, I guess, has some potential. I know the Brew Crew fans definitely love Christian Yelich. On top, we have... One oversized box topper. There's an Ian Anderson. Not the best face on Ian Anderson right there. Um, but nice oversized rookie card. Um, and there's what the back of the card. So I think we just got an early sneak peek as to what our design is going to look like. 16 packs. Eight cards per pack. Here's the wrapper. Here's all the odds. See, people like to see the odds, and also people like to see the no purchase necessary stuff. So I'll peel this wrapper back, and you can pause it if you'd like to and do your thing. Some people like to send in a postcard and try to get some free cards. All right, so here's what the backs look like, and here's the front. Let's take a look at this photography. We've got David Ortiz leading things off. He's just admiring a shot there. That uh, I'm trying to figure out what stadium that's taken out. Is that Fenway? Or actually, is that over in England, I think? That might be over in England during the the uh, England series. There's Clark Schmidt rookie card. You can see no borders in this. Aaron Judge. We've got an upside-down Andrew Benatendi. Might be a short print there. i, I, I got to double-check. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with the Benatendi. But it is upside down, so I'll try to figure that out for you guys. Tanner Roark is a chrome card. Then we have a Will Clark. It is an insert card. It's a 1992 Stadium Club. Um, I guess you know how they did the, the 70 Years of Tops and did all the different designs? They're doing that again with Stadium Club and redoing all the Stadium Club designs. So we'll test my knowledge on Stadium Club. I'll tell you what, it's not going to be that good. I wasn't always uh, picking up Stadium Club back in the day. I do know that was a 92 Stadium Club design. And um, I'm really going to be um, off the mark on some of the stuff from the like late 90s, early 2000s. There's Austin Meadows getting hyped up. Justin Verlander. Looks like they just flipped all these upside down. There's Justin Verlander. That's a red name parallel. That's what's different about that. We've got Aloy Jimenez going back to the wall. Of course, that's how he ended up uh, pretty much losing his entire season. Tried to make a home run catch in spring training and tore a pectoral muscle. Now he's out until who knows when. Kind of a shame. But the White Sox still doing their thing despite that loss, along with losing Luis Robert as well and Nick Madrigal. So a bunch of nice players off the show. This is a nice picture, by the way. Christian Yelich going up and making a catch there or about to make a catch. The photography is really good. Flip these around and see what we've got. There's Raphael Devers. It's the black and white negative 
variation. We've got a Ryan McMahon making a diving catch in front of some cardboard cutouts there. J.D. Davis, uh, Jose Altuve, he's happy. Jose Altuve is, uh, he was bad in 2020. A lot of people thought that was because he didn't have his garbage cans, but Altuve's been good this year again. He's, I think he's got like 17 home runs now, which isn't too far off the pace of some of those leaders. The top of the league right now has, what, 24, 23 home runs of the top two? A couple other guys down there around 20, and Altuve's not too far behind. For a little guy, that's, he's got the, uh, the pop swing back. There's Byron Buxton busting it down the line. Um, let's flip these around. Still haven't found our autograph yet. We have a Brandon Lau. That's a black nameplate variation. Bobby Dalbeck is upside down. It is a gold chrome card. There he's in a shopping cart being pushed. Kind of a cool one right there. It's not numbered, but we'll still sleeve it up. Next up, we have Cal Ripken Jr. And this is a nice picture. You can see his, his uh, old buddy Wade Boggs right there. Two Hall of Famers getting in on the play. That's a great card. Charlie Blackman. Stadium Club seems to love the jumping catches and the diving catches this year in Alex Verdugo. I like that picture with the sun reflecting off the glasses right into the lens of the camera. So it seems like every picture has some sort of cool little thing you got to look out for. And then there's just some just random base stock pictures like Brandon Woodruff right there. Derek Jeter making the iconic jump throw across the diamond. I tried that in a softball game this year, and uh, I threw the ball into right field and looked like a uh, total jerk. <laughs> Trying to do the Derek Jeter jump play. We've got a Andy Young. There's Nick Senzel. And we have a um, 30 Years of Stadium Club card. I'm going to get the official name of this. Mario Rivera. There's the, what the card looks like. I don't know if they have an actual name for this. They're called 70 Years of Tops for um, uh, the base set. This is called Stadium Club Greats, I guess, is what I'm looking at. There's the back of the card. Sandman, Marion Rivera. Does it, does it tell us what year that is? No, it doesn't. So, I don't know, guys. I'm not, uh, I was never a huge stadium club collector back in the day. Joe Adele making a catch. That is that the ball? Is it the ball staying in his glove there? He had to play a blooper during the 2020 season where he tried to rob a home runner. I don't even think he tried to rob a home runner. He just tried to make a catch and it bounced out of his glove and over the fence, basically, for a dinger. So that Joe Adele is a nice card. He's another nice rookie. We'll sleeve up the Joe Adele along with that Bobby Dalbeck so far. No autograph yet. There should be an autograph coming at some point. There should be two of them coming. We've got a... Wow, these are just... I hope they're not sticking together. They're not. Maybe in a couple years, these cards all brick up, which is always so frustrating. We've got a rookie card of Ryan Jeffers hitting a ball off the tee, doing a little bit of tee work out there at Target Field in Minneapolis. Next pack up. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think of this. They do get a lot of landscape cards put in here, which I'm not a huge fan of the, the sideways cards. Denison Lamette. We have a George Springer standing there looking all menacing in the on-deck circle. Blake Snell. Got a couple Hall of Famers here. For some reason, some of these cards do not separate easily. There's a Kirby Puckett. That picture looks like it was taken maybe 86 or so. Early Kirby Puckett picture. Albert Pujols. Part of the uh, no-hit squad last night. He got no-hit along with the rest of his teammates, including Mookie Betts against Cal Davies and the Cubbies. There is Mookie Betts just going crazy. I wonder when that picture was taken. Maybe caught the last out or after the last out of the playoff round or win. Definitely celebrating it right there. And here's a nice one. Bob Gibson with his Hall of Fame plaque. That picture was probably taken in. Now, let's see. What year was Bob Gibson put in the Hall of Fame? I, I couldn't even tell you. It's five years after they retire. So maybe late 70s was he inducted in the Hall of Fame? You have to let me know, you baseball historians out there. I wasn't alive yet in the 70s. Flip these around. Chris Bubich. This is going to be a nice rookie card right there. And we've got Wilson Contreras Black Border. Or not Black Border, but Black Nameplate. And Ron Acuna Jr. Letting those dreads fly with that nice number 13 um, necklace hanging down. All right, next pack up. We've got a Goldie Paul Goldschmidt right there. There's Chris Davis in his Texas uniform. I don't. I think he was released. I don't know who he's with now. But Chris Davis's career is slowly coming to an end, and we are coming upon our first hit. It is an Alec Baum on-card autograph. How about that for your first 
autograph of Stadium Club. We've got a whole bunch of these boxes. In fact, let me check the break list to, right now and tell you how many we've got. Uh, so we got 16 times four. So a grand total of 64 boxes. That's 128 autographs we're going to have all together today. And uh, that's the first one, and that's a good one. Alec Bohm, one of the top rookies from this class. So, Casey, congratulations. I do expect there to be a lot of rookie autos coming out of this. That's kind of like what we see with Stadium Club. They do give you a lot of autographs, but you got to take the rookie autos. I remember opening Stadium Club in the past and getting a ton of, like, Adolis Garcia autographs and being all, like, sad for you guys and Cedric Mullins and Ryan O'Hearn. There was a lot of those in 2019. And now some of those guys were just, like, huge stars. Maybe we'll find some, I bet you we find some Casey Mize autos tonight and some Joey Bart autos. Speaking of which, there's Casey Mize and Joey Bart. We've got a Steven Strasburg right there and a Drew Rasmussen rookie card as well. Next pack up. Let's see what we've got going on in this one. There's Gavin Lux. We've got a Brendan McKay who's hitting there. You might say, wait a minute, doesn't he usually pitch? Yeah, but he's coming up he was always considered a two-way star that he could probably do both very good hitter kind of like in Shohei Otani light hey look at Aquino getting up there Aristides Aquino making a I don't know if he made the catch or not I don't see the ball in the glove but making a valiant effort right there on that one Freddie Freeman and we've got a die cut card it's a triumvirate Andrew McCutcheon these are located approximately I believe it's one in each box so you'll be seeing quite a few of these today in our break the Triumvirates set, and Andrew McCutcheon is featured on this one. So you get one of these, you get a box topper, you get two autographs, and you get a chrome parallel, which I believe was the Bobby Dalbeck. One of those in every single box. Not a lot of numbered cards, as you've seen, so this probably isn't the best candidate for a Saturday Showdown. I don't think we've had a numbered card yet. So Saturday Showdown tomorrow is going to be Select because there's quite a few numbered cards in Select and we still have plenty of cases and spots available for you guys if you'd like to participate. Dalton Varsho and Walker Bueller, who got his first loss of the season yesterday. He's 7-1. Cubby's handing him his first L. Walker Bueller, definitely a great pitcher for sure. There's Zach Gallon, another nice pitcher, although he plays for the hapless Arizona Diamondbacks. Tucker Davidson, a lot of people like him down in Atlanta. Speaking of guys that I like, there is a nice Beau Bichette red name parallel. Now, those aren't, uh, there's not much extra added value to those red name parallels. Maybe some people are going to put that red name plate set together, but there's, it's not like a crazy amount of extra um, value added to the card by that, at least from what I've seen. We've got a Joey Bart right there. Not with Casey Mize this time. We've got a Superstar Duo card coming up, an insert card with Vladdy on there. And on the back, we've got his teammate, Bo Bichette. Kind of a cool little insert right there. There's Pete Alonso. Looks like, uh, I don't know if he's celebrating a walk-off hit by pitch or what, but he's laying on the ground. Maybe he just slid in. Who knows? But kind of a cool picture. And Luis Robert, one of my favorites, Luis Robert, making it down the first base right there. And so sad that he's hurt. I'd love to see him for a full season. I bet you he could hit, hit you like 35 home runs, still 30 bags. There's Vladdy Junior, we'll flip that around here in a second. We're starting to see some repeats now. Here comes the Kirby Puckett once more. Ian Happ, that's a nice picture of Vladdy making a nice little catch there. Maybe playing some third base. Yeah, it looks like he's probably playing, playing some third there. Doesn't have a first baseman's mitt on. We've got Javi Baez about ready to hit uh, Gregory Polanco right in the face with the ball there, at least in the side. And I apologize, guys. We got a phone call right when we were getting to this last pack. So. Here's the good news. We're back. The bad news? I don't think there is any because we're still waiting for one autograph. There will be an autograph in this pack guaranteed. So we saved the best for last. And I'm really glad that that phone call didn't come when I started opening this pack up. Shame on me for forgetting to hit do not disturb right there. I do apologize for that. So Casey, guaranteed autograph in this pack right here. Let's see who it's going to be. You already got your one autograph, and the second auto is going to be a... Where is it? Where is it? They said two autographs per box is the last pack. We haven't found another one yet. Okay, it's a virtual reality card. There it is. Anderson Tejeda. So the second autograph in the last pack. Anderson Tejeda is the hit right there. Dustin May. 
Kyle Seeger and Dean Kramer are the last ones in this first box. All right, so first box is in the books for Casey. Next, we've got John. John's got our second box in the preview video. We'll have a whole bunch more of these tonight. So Casey, nice hit right there. The Alec Bohm, a big time, um, that's a pretty big time hit. For Stadium Club, I think that's going to be one of the bigger type hits you see. You're going to see a lot of kind of like B-level rookie card autographs in here. Anderson Tate is not a bad one, but uh, not a ton of value to his cards yet. You will see a whole bunch of those guys. I can take a look at the, the autograph checklist for you and give you a quick little maybe kind of preview here. There are 142 names on that checklist. There's some big names on there, and there's some not-so-big names. They've got lots of rookies, and I also see some... Major stars standing out as well. Guys like Mike Trout, Mark McGuire, um, Andrew Jones, Carlton Fisk, Cal Ripken Jr., Dale Murphy. So some nice older players. But there's a whole lot of guys like Franklin Colome and um, who else? Like Hassan Kim. Not a lot of people probably really big on him. Joey Gerber, John Aheim, um, Julian Merriweather, Jesus Sanchez, Jonathan Stever, Jake Woodford, Coey. Kohei, Arihara, lots of those types of guys. So we'll see. Uh, Casey, congratulations on the first great autograph. Let's get to the next one. And I do apologize for that phone call. I was a little bit uh, worried that these cases were not going to come at all today. They were delayed a bit as we get into John's. They literally showed up, I don't know, like five minutes before I started this video. I was getting antsy. And as soon as they showed up, I ripped open the, uh, the case and... Came down here and started filming for you guys. Didn't want to like put the preview video up before we started the live stream or um, after we started the live stream. It would be awful. I want to give everyone a quick look here of what's coming up tonight. All right, so this is John's box. You got the show. Hey, we're gonna do a uh, little super rip here. Of these four stacks just to. Oh, this one feels pretty thick right here. So, John, something interesting. Maybe they just put a whole bunch of cards in there. Let's see, just for the heck of it. One, two, three, four, five. Mitch Keller was regular. Six, seven. And you have the autograph. It's Tanner Houck, which is card number eight. And then they make you take a bunch more there. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. So um, you got a huge fat pack worth of cards right there, John. And you got the autograph. Congratulations on the Tanner Hawk. I don't know what the heck was up with that particular pack. Sometimes that happens with tops. Every now and then you'll see them just completely overstuff a pack. And you're like, wow, do I have like a, some sort of case hit or something in here? And then it just turns out that there's just a whole bunch of extra cards. There's David Ortiz. We've got a Mike Piazza. This is the uh, top stadium club greats. Oh, that design looks somewhat familiar. I would guess maybe like, what guys, 96, 97, somewhere in there. There's Trevor Bauer about ready to throw a pitch. We've got Greg Maddox looking like looking like a big nerd there, but uh, he was proud of that. They called him the professor. He could uh, easily dissect any batter at the plate, just pick him apart. Frank Thomas and Aristides Aquino right here. One's a red nameplate parallel. There's Kyle Lewis. We've got uh, Eduardo Rodriguez, Daz Cameron, rookie card. Josh Bell, Reggie Jackson with a card in this set, and David Wright in our first stack. So one autograph down. It was Tanner Houck. There will be another one coming up here very soon. We'll see who it is. I don't know if it's going to be in the last pack or not. The uh, I'll tell you what. That last box was the autograph in the first pack. Is it first pack, last pack in this? We'll see. It's it, it could be very predictable once again, guys. You saw how the jumbos were so predictable. I could pinpoint the autograph in every single box. That could be the case here once again, which is why you should never buy loose packs on eBay. If you see some cheap packs on eBay, that's probably why, because they're dead packs. They, they lifted the autographs out. There's a Ken Griffey Jr. member's choice card. That's a 1992 Stadium Club. Nice design right there. We're already seeing some repeats here, so we'll see if there's any new interesting-looking cards to look at. There's Sun Jin Ryu, Adam Wainwright, Dansby Swanson, 
probably celebrating a win right there. Maybe a walk-off. Miguel Rojas getting way up over, I think that's Bryce Harper slotting in there. Some nice vert from Rojas. Aaron Judge saw that one already. Mike Yastrzemski. Elvis Andrews in his Oakland A's uniform. That's weird to see him in that uni. He spent his entire career as a member of the Texas Rangers. Max Freed. There's Jesus Sanchez rookie card. Lord Ace Gurriel Jr. taking some BP with Bo Bichette lurking in the background. Bichette's always really noticeable. We've seen that Austin Meadows before. A lot of people, big fans of Tyler Stevenson. Here he comes. There he is right there. Now, for those of you wondering if these dropped or not on Topps' website today, they did not. We've been waiting around for Stadium Club to release, um, for Topps to release Stadium Club. Sorry, it looks like uh, having one of my kids maybe come downstairs, even though I politely asked them to stay upstairs until I was done with the video. Maybe my three-year-old's going to come say hi to you guys. But, um, yeah, these didn't go on sale today. So kind of a big letdown of a day in terms of the uh, online card buying community. We were all expecting cards, for all, all of us, the football collectors, the basketball collectors, and the baseball collectors were all expecting cards to come out today on Target's website, and they didn't. And we've got the autograph coming out right now. It's an Andy Young second autograph. So Tanner Houck and Andy Young, rookie card auto. I told you it's going to be a lot of those types of autos, but there's going to be some big names. I hope we can find some big name autos tonight. Um, make sure you tune in and see who exactly we can find. We'll flip these over here in a second. Best card of this pre-video is obviously going to be the Alec Bum, but we'll finish off the string here and show you the rest of the cards. Kevin Biggio, Mike Soroka. Carpica Jr., 1991 Stadium Club. Uh, why is this card all mangled up? Look at this. So it must have fallen on the factory floor, and somebody just stepped right on it. Look at that. There's a indentation right there and we have a big wrinkle right there so a PSA 1 Cal Ripken Jr. fresh out of the box what's up with that sorry John sometimes the uh, quality control at Tomps sometimes stuff happens like that there's Joe Adele Trombert's card that's a nice one we've got a Braxton Garrett there is Keegan Aiken right there flip these around I do see a nice Fernando Tatis coming your way I think also we may still have that Chrome card lurking somewhere. I don't know if we've seen that one yet. You get one base Chrome card in every box. And here it is, last stack of the video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll be opening all of our Stadium Club boxes tonight live for our, our Patreon members if you'd like to check it out. Tomorrow we've got the Saturday showdown of Select. And uh, we'll, I'll do as many cases as I have left in the showdown. You can, Get a lot, a lot of folks involved if you'd like to. One winner per case. Basically, whoever pulls the lowest number. Well, look at this. It's a third autograph. Jesus Sanchez. So, John, I guess somebody, whoever stepped on that Ripken card, felt really bad for you. It was like, dang, my bad, dude. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to... I'm just going to toss another autograph in for you to make up for it. So look at that. You have your third autograph of the box. That's not supposed to happen. But all is well now. Tops has smoothed things over with John, at least in my book. There's a nice Jesus Sanchez for your third autograph of the box. Nice stuff right there. There's a Trevor Bauer VR card. We've got Luis Garcia and Byron Buxton. There's a Dave Winfield as well. Go and flip these around and see what we can find. Drew Rasmussen. Nick Madrigal, rookie card. That's an interesting one. I did not realize Jemiah Jones had that uh, that much hair. So interesting card right there. Who, whoever it tops definitely wanted to showcase that hair. Thought it was kind of cool. There's John Means. Flip this around. We got a superstar duo card with Aaron Judge and who do you think is the duo? Glaber or Giancarlo? It's going to be Giancarlo Stanton on the back. Makes sense. James Karen Chack. James Caprillion rookie card is a nice one. There's Eric Hosmer, Luis Patino, and our last few cards, Jazz Chisholm, one of the top rookies in the 2021 class in a lot of people's books. But wait a minute. Is there a crease in this one too? Look at this. Can you see that? Can you see that right there, guys? Do you see that crease? There's a, like a little wrinkle right there. This card is creased. So we're noticing some issues with the inserts being placed into stadium club boxes, at least this one. I didn't notice any in the other box. We have our first numbered card. It is a nice 
Adam Wainwright, numbered 12 out of 25. So if this was Saturday Showdown, John would take probably all the cards in the case just with that 12. But uh, if you have any of those inserts, be careful of those. Take a look at them. Make sure that they're in tip-top shape because we've seen a couple of those come out of here that looked a little bit uh, iffy, especially that Ripken and now that Aaron Judge Duos card. So that'll do it for the preview video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, we'll be live tonight. I'll try to get started around a little after 8 p.m. once I get all the kiddos to bed. And we will be ripping cards up until probably, honestly, midnight or so. And then tomorrow we've got the Saturday Showdown. If we have enough boxes of that sold, we'll do that live as well. It's always fun to see what type of drama is going to unfold with those numbers. The lowest number card takes them all. We've had some really exciting ones the past few weeks. So I hope you'll join us for Saturday Showdown tomorrow. And that'll do it, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. And I will see you all later in the live stream. And if not, I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.